Hello there, internet. Mogwai here, and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. And I welcome you to a filler episode. Don't you love those? We're going to feature a deck that I showcased in the past because basically I need some content for today as I am waiting for the new patch to hit. But unfortunately, uh, it will hit in the middle of my stream today, so I will not be able to upload a video with the new balance changes. So to buy a little bit of time and get a video for tonight, I'm going to play a deck that will not be affected uh, by the balance changes whatsoever. And a deck that I shared uh, relatively recently, but one that I really liked and I'm happy to be able to showcase once again. And that is Naruto, aka, you know, Naruto and Sasuke here, two BFFs joining forces in an unlikely allegiance alongside your boy Horns of the Dragon in a tempo sort of like one turn kill Shen deck in which we are combining Shen with Noxus and not Demacia. Like Nani? I know. It's very strange, but it actually works. And uh, I just really have been liking Stand United as a card lately. Uh, ever since Shen got buffed in the recent balance patch, I really like playing with them. And I found out, you know, that Stand United has a lot of really powerful uses and it's a really neat card not only in this deck but also for example in the shen lux deck that i showcased a while back too as well so i really like the idea of being able to uh play around with my positioning and utilize stand united as a way to fish for a surprise lethal or perhaps even uh dodge removal as uh, i can also you know be a way to counter cards like vengeance or world of ionia in case you did not know which is pretty pretty cheeky right like this deck certainly does play out like a ninja sort of uh strategy it, it does really have that feel to it and that's why i really like it we're running a full set of kato the arm because we want to be giving overwhelm to our units as uh you know giving overwhelm to horns of the dragon with double attack is really powerful but also giving overwhelm to the likes of the green glade caretaker which reaches really high attack stats pretty easily in this deck is also very very strong i really like challengers in general with shen particularly trifarian glory seeker is super strong with shen because her five attack uh paired onto her challenger keyword becomes extremely powerful when we're able to uh, deny damage onto her as obviously her biggest weakness is her really low health stat we're able to patch that up and uh, utilize a very potent uh, threat on turn two alongside shen to just start picking off the opponent's biggest threats we have zed alongside jen to apply pressure and uh, benefit from cards like might also from uh, elixir of wrath and stand united there's some really neat tools that can work really well with shen and uh we also have a one-off of shiraza which can also allow, uh, allow to go uh, it's, it's kind of like a, a different it's kind of like a, a cheaper version of horns of the dragon but a more frail one at that but she can definitely win some games here and there which is why i like her as a one-off and that is basically the deck list right there uh, I did a more detailed deck tech back uh, when I uploaded a video around this. It's got both Zed and Shen in the thumbnail. It's called Lethal Jutsu. Uh, so you guys can check out that video. And if you want like a more detailed explanation regarding the cards and everything. Today is just a, a quick intro to kind of like remind you guys of what the deck is about. And we'll hop onto the gameplay immediately. No ranked gameplay today, unfortunately. As uh, ranked is actually down right now. So, uh... Yeah, I had to play in casual, which means I got a lot of really funky matchups, which I think makes for a pretty interesting video. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. So that's all I gotta say. Have a solid day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for daily Runeterra videos. Subscribe, do a like. It's free. You'll get to know when I upload videos and stuff. And free stuff in general is good. So yeah, <laughs> 10 out of 10 self-promotion, I know. But yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Hope you enjoy the games. And I'll see you tomorrow. All right, let's get this filler episode rolling as we're facing uh, a, forbid a forbidden love mid-range. Basically, Garen and Katarina with a little bit of Darius. Nice. <laughs> I'm not going to continue with that, but yeah, interesting deck uh, to say the least. And interesting hand, really. We're gonna drop the Nye. We're gonna keep the Trifarian Glory Seeker and the Spirit's Refuge. We can drop Elixir of Wrath for now. I like these two here. Um, the reason why I really like Trifarian Glory Seeker is because uh, in a matchup against um, Demacia and Noxus, especially considering how I expect this deck to be, they don't really have 
the best means to ping Triferian Glory Seeker with, because like the thing that Glory Seeker hates the most are regions that can allow the player to actually ping at her, right? Now here we have an interesting uh, predicament, because uh, this is dealing damage to me. But I don't want to trade... I don't want to trade a 2 drop for a 1 drop. Like, I just don't want to make that exchange. Ready for deployment. Interesting. Um, I'd rather take a little bit of early damage and uh, get some really good value going on with these exchanges. To the field. Run fast. I have my orders. Oh Jesus. Okay. You'll never see it coming. My life for these lands. A lot of damage, but if I go for a spirit refuge here. I can gain three back. I'll go. I'll go up to twelve. I'll eliminate this, and I'll preserve you. How good is that? I think that's fine. It's what I got right now. I prevent a little bit of damage, and uh, I'm able to build a bit. Victory requires a sharp blade. Let's drop the Glory Seeker, let's see what our opponent does. I do have to be wary of a potential Katarina. Like, Katarina right now would actually be pretty brutal. Because they would be able to get a Blade's Edge. And they have just enough mana to ping off one of our Glory Seekers. So I, I have to, like, I have to make a decision here. Unfortunately, like, because of... Th this matchup is really odd, but that's the thing. Like, we're not playing ranked. We're playing, like, random people. So we're playing random decks. And this matchup is actually really tricky right now. Uh, because of our draws, more than anything, really. Um, I think I'm I'm okay with this. I could... I could... I mean, I, I probably should. We're fine with them not playing anything that turn. Crimson Disciple is a decent top deck uh right now we need to play defensively like our opponent has gone really wide with units doesn't really matter what units they are like yeah he's playing the vanguard defender which is not really that good of a two drop really For the honor of my house. let me show you what i can do but that doesn't change much really because uh the reality is he's going wide with one drops and two drops and uh, we are uh relatively low on health so <laughs> He's not attacking with the Saboteur, which is, in my opinion, a big mistake. Now, I am inclined to uh, resort to Stand United. Because I don't I don't like the Transfusion here. Plus, this allows me to block into that. I will only be taking two damage this turn. And... Would you do? A little bit of chip damage there. We prevented three damage by him not attacking full on there, so that was definitely a mistake on his part. <sighs> which is which is really awkward, man, because we're drawing into like all these glory seekers, but we ain't got no Shen, and uh, we're we're just really struggling here. Um, I would like to play Kato, but there's just no point in that right now. I need just a moment. I'm gonna develop another Glory Seeker, and I'm, I'm just gonna work to clear his board. I'm gonna trade these Glory Seekers with his current board, and uh, we'll go on from there. We have a Transfusion backup, we can preserve Will of Ionia. I mean, Will of Ionia is still available as a play, but... Oh, it is a great day, day for a Reckoning! We're still going with this. It's killing time! Shiraz. Get your blood ready, it's Shiraz! Shiraz! <laughs> <laughs> Let's, go with you. Let's pick up. These are the are the three biggest threats. This deals extra damage, this powers up the entire board, and this can just straight up kill us. So we're gonna attack with you, you, and you. We're gonna attack with you. Delicious. And um, I do wanna hold on to the uh, Green Glade Caretaker. There's no real good exchange for her right now. So let's just go with this. And we'll leave it two versus two. Demacian steel protects me! It's just fine. Yikes. 
We have Will of Ionia, equal card state right now. Uh, the ability to play Will of Ionia and Kato. You live, probably. Okay, that's a little bit random. The question is, do I resort to... Uh, no, I, I keep my options open, which means I drop Zed here. I can still block you into you. I mean, Zed is not really a good blocker, though. I'm gonna play Kato. It is me! It is me! Kato just gives me a better blocker body, even though I can combine both Transfusion and Wool of Ionia. I'd rather use Transfusion as a... Nice to punch you. Let's go with this. <laughs> Nine. Mother. That's dangerous. All right, we got it. we got that. Pledge yourself to the shadows. We're going in. If he doesn't play anything, then that will lead me to. We don't have to worry about a will of Ionia anymore. So let's do this. My turn. Like my blade. How much damage is this? Two. Yeah, this is fine. See us! I claim what is ours. The reason why this is fine is because um, unless our opponent deals with my our board now, we have lethal. We just need one more mana. We have lethal burst. If we have the combination of Spirit's Refuge plus Transfusion onto our Crimson Disciple, so even though this Radiant Guardian comes down, as long as... Who gets tossed? They will all learn to fear my order. Gotta, gotta fear the order, man. Orders are spooky. All right, round two. Okay. Is this some fisted fate? I smell fisted fate with the bilge water background even. Ooh, Hordens of the Dragon, I like you, but it is a little bit too early for you. Um, I do like Will of Ionia though. I'm gonna keep these two. We got the Shen Primary Glory Seer combo. Hello, Fizz. How's it going, buddy? I don't want to play Primary Glory Seeker into a Make It Rain. At least, not yet. I'm going to develop the Shadow Assassin. Go on, on then. then. I will play my part. I'm gonna attack. Interesting. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Dead in their tracks. Master. Two worlds. One balance. We have to we have to really respect this debate here. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Which is why we're only playing Zed first. Uh, like this? Before <laughs> before Professor Vanya, before we reveal Victory requires a our blade. glory seeker. I find them unworthy. You're mine. It's this and this. Why 
a minute. Professor Von Yip. All right, I'm I'm a little bit. I am definitely in intrigued now. He definitely must have like double trouble and stuff like that. Regardless, we get rid of Twist of Fate, which is a big threat. Our opponent doesn't really get much use of. That's a thick fella. Yeah. yeah he, bar he, bar he didn't get any value whatsoever out of that pick a card, which is really good because he's behind us in mana, which is really relevant, actually. Ooh. That's spooky. All right. Can I, take, can I take this damage? I don't know if I can take this amount of damage. I think I can just immediately. I think I'm in a transfusion. But I, I don't want to be vulnerable to a make it rain. This is the problem here. But if he does have a make it rain, I'll just I'll just pair it up with that. Yeah. I could play Horns of the Dragon, but I'm gonna drop you. These woods protect their own. Keeper, our lands need us. I don't really have anything in my deck that can punish this board state right now, so unless he's got a, a cheeky make it rain there waiting for me, I think I'm gonna continue to develop. What time is it? Will of Ionia. Could, could be a card that he stole, amongst other things. So we need to, we need to make sure that we spread out. That's fine. That's one of the cards. We know he has two other cards that we don't know of. We want to make sure we have the Stand United uh, enabled here. Not sense and imbalance. Face me! Who goes there? Maybe there, maybe there was an argument for developing the horns of the dragon. Here. Stay back. Let it deny. I think my most sensible play here is to go for this. <laughs> That's a desperate build for goods. That's what I really like about Stan United, man. We basically got him on the next attack. Um, there is an argument for me. Okay, he gets another elusive. That's a little bit. That's um, slightly concerning. Let me show you. I'm gonna drop the uh, the Crimson Disciple here because if I top deck a transfusion, then the game's over. Okay, double trouble, <laughs> double trevor. All right, very very spooky duo. Take this hit, that's fine. Is there any any reason for me not to do this? The dragon speaks through me. The weak don't deserve me. Uh, Spirit's Refuge to get like life steal on my two tokens. You fought with honor. But I'd rather make sure I, I wanted to kill him that turn. I had to kill him that turn, so. I'd rather make sure that I focused all of my mana on ensuring Lisa. 
Because as, as long as I had one attack over him, like, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to get lethal, especially... I mean, he could have stolen... He did steal one of my Will of Ionia, right? But I did play... I did have one in my hand myself, so... Yeah, I think that was the right... The correct call. But, uh, yeah. We got, we got some sweet jutsu going on. All right. Round three. Laser Bender. He's playing Swain Sejuani. Obviously, leveled up Sejuani is going to be a big threat. So being able to delay her level up is important. I think we could drop Serious Refuge for now. I mean, it's not bad to have. But I'd rather search for other components. Ah, oh, there we go. A one drop is nice. Especially when the opponent leads off with a Nomen Hawk. Being denied the attack from Omen Hawk for Sejuani Dex is a really big deal. Really, really big deal. Any other, any two drop that I should be wary of? I could play the Crimson Disciple, but he could have like an even bigger Crimson Disciple himself. I'm gonna drop the, uh, the, the Alright. That's not really what I was hoping for. I could have, I could have dealt more damage, but he could very easily have a buffed up Crimson Disciple that I could delay him from playing here. really hard here okay not not sure if he's even playing ember ember maiden but i i have to take into account for sure i'll try anyone i'm gonna develop the crimson disciple uh keeping transfusion open here my opponent has a lot of mana to work with the winter's claw strikes but that's that's a fine target delicious for glory you're mine i'll take that trade Okay, well. Denied. Remember me. This land is ours. He's running long, gas. Fear the power you do not see. I don't want to resort to Kato to block, but I, I don't want to give him the free hit. Like if, if these two, that's just way too much damage. That's way, way too much damage. But if I if I resort to, I could resort to you. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like the, the spirit refuge. Leave nothing standing. Come here, block darling. here. Yeah, Lock into Swain, and then we can leave Swain at Glory Seeker range. I need just a moment. It's nice to know that we're not facing Twisted Fate, <laughs> because that would be a big problem. Like all of my units are tremendously frail. We don't have to worry about that or make it rain. There's still other things that our opponent could use here. A calling strike. Um, even though I have a way to counter that, I don't deem it worthy. Do I? This might, this might could be really strong. If I'm able to go wide here, you can block that into that, but then it means five, that means seven damage to face. Seven damage that I'm actually losing here. And I'm, I'm making an exchange with that. I think this is actually really good. I don't think I'm attacking with these though. So it's just five damage. Because I, I want to have the Stand United enabled here. Okay. That's fine. Can't play anything else here. 
I thought we wouldn't fight back. The Winter's Claw! Let's get a good look at you. I'm not gonna play into an action guillotine. What time is it? My plan is very simple. Kato. Kato into Stan United. Go time! I'm all warmed up. Yep. I give you muscles! That's <laughs> it. He needed it anymore. That's not a block. That's that yeah, that's not a block. Dance in the flames! That's exactly why. Okay, he's gonna forfeit. <laughs> but I mean, I have me, right? That's why I went with that plan, because he, he had the same amount of like units as I did, but I just needed, you know, big boy muscle man to collide into the bird with Stan United, and, and I, I enabled victory that way, right? So that 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 was the clear plan that way. Um, I, I do like those like more standard mid-range matchups in which my opponent has a pretty solid curve and some strong synergy here, but there's nothing, there's anything, like there's not really anything too crazy that they're doing, right? They're just kind of like playing units on, on the board. So I, I, I could get very cheeky around that sort of play pattern and uh, yeah, <laughs> I like the matchup for sure. All right, so more, more Fist of Fate. But with your boy Gangplank in the mix. We gotta keep uh, Make It Rain into account. Uh, I'm gonna drop the Deny. Um, I'm gonna keep everything else. Even Shadow Assassin can be really good as a way to block this as well. And I do like my my Glory Seeker into Shen combo. Obviously, this matchup is not the greatest for Glory Seeker here. Victory requires a sharp blade. Since make it rain can just make her go away. There's plenty of killing left. Oh, that was a sound. I'm gonna develop Zed. Didn't know the boss is Zed. Don't know much, do you? Ah, uh, that 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 uh speaks. Face me. That speaks volumes of what's about to happen. We go as one. And unfortunately, we get hit in the worst way possible. This, this is basically the, the, the worst possible outcome of that. I walk this space between worlds. I gotta start, like, I, I gotta take into account uh, the keg matchup. I, I, I gotta play differently around it. I, I don't think I should be keeping Trifarian Glory Seeker in that matchup at all. I, I think that's something that's important to consider. Like, just not doing it like that. I'm gonna drop the Shadow Assassin, see if I can draw into some more effective utility here. Like, I could have dropped Shiraza, but this is actually better as a blocker. Didn't know the boss is it. Don't know much, do you? Cannot hide. Taking a lot of damage here. There is no dispute. My light. I'm gonna go for the transfusion. He took my my two mites. <laughs> my two mites for me, and I, I can't I can't stand United because I, I if I do that I lose. If I if I stand United because I swap these two's positions I lose because I I take the damage from the uh, 
from the Overwhelm in a matchup in which... In which Overwhelm should not even... Oh my god. My two mites. My two mites. And, and people, and people, some people are confused as to why I'm so vocal against this, this mechanic. <laughs> I can't, I can't play around this. I, I can never, like, play around this. It's, it's factoring, like, really crazy stuff. Uh. To be fair, this, this stems from, like, me playing into that Make It Rain earlier on. That's also important to consider. Well, it is. Protect their own. I'm gonna drop this. Let me show you what I can do. My crimson disciple. Who gets tossed? This man, like all, all of his cards are. Can I get a sneaky win with Shiraza? Is that possible? I mean, if he twists the fates here and he gold cards, it's pretty much like it's just pretty much a wrap. I think it has to be Horns of the Dragon, though. Horns of the Dragon. If you get 6 attack, 6 on T3, that's 6 damage, plus... Yeah, it has to be the dragon through me. We gotta go on with this. Oh, he doesn't have a Twist of Fate. Or, you know, like, another... Like, for example, a, I mean, a Will of Ionia. Like, he's still... There's still one card that he hasn't revealed from me. You know what? I've already said all that I had to say regarding the well now it's gonna be called the nab mechanic. You guys know where I where I stand regarding the nab mechanic. So I'm I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna become a broken record about it. But wow. Alright, Heimerdinger. Alright, Heimer. Will you... Uh, at least I don't have to worry about him stealing my cards. Alright, Green Glade Caretaker into Transfusion. It's not bad. Will of Ione is also not bad to have. But I, I honestly don't want to... I honestly don't even want to have this right now. Like, I, I, I want to draw units. I want to be able... I want to make sure that I can actually curve out. And apply pressure. Because that's one of the things that you need to do in this matchup. You need to apply pressure. Transfusion is decent to avoid damage based removal. Not a thermogenic beam that would happen now, though, unfortunately. That would be bad. Especially because I, I, I need two units on the board for these, these combat tricks to work. Okay, that must mean he has the, uh, the claws. Rain from a cloudless sky. Alright. Grasping claws. I'm not sure if that's a good play anyways. Like, that's so powerful with Heimerdinger. And uh, you're basically saying no to that. By going for a flash of billions there, I, I, I just like, it's, it, it looks neat, right? Especially, especially if you have this. You, you, you wasted a flash of brilliance for 3 damage. strike hard. I walk this space between worlds. Really? For three damage? Think about it. That's just not worth it. That is just like... Never worth it. Uh, I'm gonna drop another one here. I'm happy I drew into this Glory Seeker. I really, I really want to start packing in this attack. I do have uh, Transfusion to back her up as well. Will of Ionia. 
Alright. Victory requires a sharp blade. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Face me! I will play my part. Well, Devil of Ionian Shen is a little bit suspect, like I'm... What seems to be the problem? Two worlds, one balance. We have our own Will of Ionia here. My most groundbreaking invention to date! We will be preserving for this. It's too late for you. There is no dispute. <laughs> you fought with honor. Uh, I mean, to be fair, it, it, it was probably it's probably somebody who's like newer to the game, and uh, they're trying to learn how to play a top meta deck, right? Like you know, I queued into them in in, in casual, like it, it it happens, right? But as a learning experience, um, qu questionable plays. Uh, I, like I said, I don't think it's ever, like, worth it to go for a Flash of Brilliance on turn 2 just to get a Closet of Dragon on the board, especially if you're going to bounce it back with your uh, Solitary Monk on turn 3. Like, I just think it's always better to keep that Flash for your Heimerdinger and uh, get a free turret out of it. Like, that's always fantastic, because not only are you representing 3 damage with that turret, the same 3 damage that you push for, you're also keeping a unit on the board, and that Closet of Dragon will go down on the board eventually anyways and you're not really an aggro deck so you're not too concerned about applying a lot of damage early on you know that that shouldn't be your priority especially if it's going to make your your mid to late game a bit clunkier right so yeah and uh also don't dragons rage against ionia <laughs> that, that's perhaps the, the more cru crucial one so yeah that that was alive uh we got some good games you know we also got yoinked but uh, it happens. Uh, I, I also did make uh, a few, a few mulligan mistakes. I feel like, especially against um, keg decks, I should not really be keeping Triferian Glory Seeker. It's more of a liability than anything. Like you, you'd rather have Crimson Disciple for scenarios like that for sure. Uh, regardless, very very fun deck to play. A lot of Omaiwu Mushin Daru combos off of it, and uh, I, I really I really enjoy playing this one. I, I like Shen. Shen has been. Particularly fun uh, after the balance change. It's just been a blast playing this this champion. He's he's really good right now, and uh, he still doesn't really see much play at all. But I think I think he's very underestimated, and it'll it'll be just to see like how this patch you know shakes things up and if we see more Shen or not. I'll keep, I'll keep playing him regardless whether he's popular or not. It's better for me if he's not popular because that way I get to you know be hipster and stuff about it. <laughs> <laughs> Did I have a have a very lame excuse for me to go for my ninjutsu moves? So yeah, I'm gonna stop the video there. Thank you guys for watching. Have a soul day. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. I do post a new video every single day, and tomorrow we'll be tackling at it with the new balance patch, new cards, all sorts of like. They're not technically new cards, but they kind of are, right? That's the wonderful, that's the beauty of uh, digital card games. So I'm really excited for tomorrow. Hope you are too. And uh, we'll be starting off with some Brahms. So, yeah. Love ya. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.